Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Leela Abadi and I'm a physical therapist and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be discussing a condition called pubic symphysis separation. Pubic symphysis, which is this, separation where it goes apart. So sometimes this is a current, when you're pregnant condition, this can occur, there's a separation and then when women are walking they have a lot of pain or it can be postpartum, like when you're delivering a baby the baby's head is a little bit too large or then you're pushing and things kind of separate and that can be very painful. Sometimes when you're in the hospital, the women will get a walker because they just can't put weight through their legs so they put some weight through their arms. So I wanted to discuss that today because in physical therapy, we get some diagnoses of that, those patients coming through our doors of pubic, pubic symphysis separation. So since I described what it is, there is this fibrocartilaginous disc in between the two bones. Your pubic symphysis typically when you touch it isn't painful. It's painful only when it's maybe sheared up or sheared down or a little forward or a little back. And then of course it's very painful when it's separated. That will create pain weight bearing through your legs. So your hip bone is here and that's your femur that's hitting the ground on both sides. So sometimes when you go into physical therapy for this condition, they'll give you a lot of leg exercises. So if these were my legs, you'd be kind of doing some kind of compression, squeezing on a ball, squeezing on a pillow, which would create this medial compression to bring everything back in together. But I want to talk a little bit more of a, another thought process. So what happens is when it gets separated, it's a part but now what could be the cause is that something in the back is keeping it apart. So you can have one of your anominates, these are called anominates, or an ilia. It can rotate back, it can be pushed together, and creating the separation or the stress on the pubic symphysis. So not everything is here. This is the symptomatology, but then this can be the why. So you want to think about, or maybe go to a pelvic health therapist so they can help you think it through about why this would be maybe compressed here. Is the sacrum not in place? Are your, one of your nominates rolled back? Is it actually stuck? So it's springing and it, it won't spring at all in the direction that you need it to come forward. And then we also have to then look at the lumbar spine and look at the rest of the glutes. So just another thing to think about for pubic symphysis separation. If you're not getting the answer to why, and you're doing all of these exercises to keep it coming together, there's another thought process that something here in the back is keeping it stuck apart. 